Hi guys, this is Lanya Marie. This is a video number two about brooches. I've been calling them brooches. They're actually spelled B-R-O-O-C-H-E-S. But anyway, continuation, I posted another video about brooch, bro, I call them brooches, how they can decorate your outfit and take it to a whole nother level. Because women, we want fashion, we do. Now these brooches here, these were all store bought and they already have the thing on the back. And this famous brooch here is the one that I'm in with my daughter Jackie on, on her video about that Target run, how she roasted me about my makeup. So let me just give you guys some more things. I'm, this is a continuation. I decorated these sunglasses, this pair and this pair with using crazy glue to attach it. Now this one, my video was posted on TikTok and Instagram how to do this. It's so simple. These are actually, these are actually buttons. But what I did wrong is see how this side bends? This one does not. Because what I did is when I put these decorative buttons on here, I should have bent it first and then place the button because what I did is I accidentally got glue so that this doesn't bend. But th that's how we learn make mistakes. Mistakes make us better because you learn from the mistake. The only time a mistake is a bad thing is when you don't learn from it. And also you want to do what's called fail forward, which means you want to keep going. Your failures make you better. They do, that. they're your best friends. So sometimes we need to reframe the way we see a air quote failure. But anyway, let me continue. Now this one right here, this is actually leather, this brooch. Someone made this and I spray painted it gold. And let me show you what they did on the back. They just simply put a safety pin in that little pocket. Um, now this is actually a button in this beautiful, I use this as a brooch. I'm not gonna put a closure on this because let me show you guys, look. Just stick a safety pin through there and attach it to your clothes. This is so beautiful. Now these are pliers as in my previous brooch video. These pliers are meant for jewelry. They're, they're sort of delicate. These big heavy duty pliers, when you use pliers, sometimes I'll, if I want to change the closure on the back, this is actually called a bar pin that you attach it to your clothes. I'll use the heavy duty pliers. It doesn't matter what type of pliers or the size. You're going to want to remove the two bar pins. I would start by taking the pliers and I would take this off and this off and that little horizontal bar would naturally come along with it. Then you would go and you would attach a new bar pin. Now see this bar pin? These are sold at Walmart. I think about maybe $3 a pack. Now with this bar pin, these annoy me because you have to put that little horizontal bar in that, open that wheel and then turn the wheel. These bar pins, I bought these from Hobby Lobby. You simply open it up and stick it in there. There's no wheel to turn. But one thing I've learned is do not open up this bar pin until you have attached it to your jewelry. Because once you open it, that little metal piece will come out and it's an act of God to get it back in. So I'm not, I'm like, okay, I learned my dang lesson. Now, what I learned, you guys, I taught myself a trick. I couldn't find the bar pins that I really wanted that are metal, where you just simply stick that little horizontal bar in there like these. These are different. I, anyway, so what I did is since I don't want to waste these with a little, these bar pins with a little circular wheel, what I did is I made sure that it's open. I glued that little circle thing shut with crazy glue so that it doesn't move. So now to close this, all I have to do is take that little pin and put it into the opening. I don't have to turn a wheel. Basically, I converted this into a stationary one where you just simply put that little bar into the socket. But the trick is to do this with this open because I will glue the dang thing shut. So once I glue this shut, then I can turn around and put that in there. So that's the trick. Make sure this is open so you don't glue everything shut. You only want to glue that little wheel shut. Let me turn this over. So this is so pretty. Look at that. And the thing is, when I took the took the initial bar pin off the back, I tore a little bit of a hole in the metal, but that's okay. It's still beautiful. That's in the process of drying. Now these I made into brooches. This was an M. It was a pendant. I took the little thing off the top with, with one of these metal pliers and I attached the back of it to make it. And now it's a brooch. And this one I made into a brooch as well. And it has a little thing at the top. I can basically wear this as a brooch. See the closure I crazy glued? Or it has a little thing at the top. I can put this on a necklace. This one I made into a brooch. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I got this from Hobby Lobby. I'm like, God, that'll make a gorgeous brooch. This one I, look. And one thing about these, you could also put them horizontal to fit if they don't fit. I mean, you can put them diagonal. Any way you want to put this dang thing on the back. But know that when you put it diagonal, when you glue it diagonal, it's going to be hard to put on. Let me show you in a moment. This one, I haven't made it to a brooch yet. I'm going to. And this one I'm going to make into a brooch. This was actually a decoration for a sh off of a shoe clip. So I took the metal pliers and I took the 
took it off. So I'm going to glue one of these, probably this one after I lock it because it's a bit smaller. Now these bar pens, they come in different lengths and sizes, they do. So when you go to Hobby Lobby has a nice selection of bar pens or wherever you get them from, just choose whatever length. You can get different varieties if you'd like. Now these two, I changed on the back. I didn't like the bar pen, so look, I changed it. So this one, you just open it up. Now I can open this without it coming off. Look, see, because it's attached and you just put that back in there. I don't wanna have to deal with that stinking turning wheel, okay? And this one, I changed too, same thing. I changed the bar pen on the back to make it more convenient because I've, I've, I have found that in time. The ones that you put it in that wheel and you turn it in all that fancy business, it gets stuck and they fail. So again, isn't this beautiful? Yep, I spray painted it gold, it was leather. So that's pretty much the gist of the video, just showing you guys some more techniques when it comes to brooches. I call them brooches, but anyway. Hey guys, I just wanted to throw in there, once I open my, what do you call it, crazy glue, and I put the cap on it, I store it just like this inside a cabinet or wherever you want to store it. I tape it so that it remains right side up because we know what happens when you put it on this side, it ends up spilling and making a big mess. But anyway, just wanted to show you, this is how I store my opened, unused crazy glue. It makes a big difference, you guys, until you use it up. And this is my daughter Jackie's candle, can't be duped. Uh, I made a comedy video saying, yes, you can be duped, but look, look, this is, this is the deal. You ever heard of the saying, once, okay, shame on me. You get me twice, Shame, no, once shame on you, you fooled me, you, you, you duped me. Twice, my bad. No, once you learn a valuable life lesson, once a person shows you who they really are, believe them. Take that as a lesson, take that as a thank you, God. I made a comedy video, I'm like, yeah, Jackie, you need, <laughs> and I was joking though, I'm like, you need to quit telling people that. You, you can be duped. I'm like, the dude <laughs> duped me right out of my panties. Man, they're so clever. But not every man will treat you like that, ladies. You have to know. With all the billions of men on the planet, not every man is going to lie, cheat, and mistreat you. It's a process of elimination. In that relationship, what you learn from it, that relationship, that bad one, the one that wasn't so good, where he tricked you, lied, lied to your behind, talking about we going to get married, everything you know that they want to hear, what you learn from it? Did it make you better? That means you needed to go through that. So anyway, my son said, Mama Herb make the video, he... he recorded a video for me the other day, but God gave me the ability and the gift of wanting to speak. So I'm going to talk to you. But anyway, isn't that pretty M? So I'm going to make videos with that M. I'll be like, M stands for money. M stands for I'm mad, whatever. Just, you know, use your creativity. And you, the awesome person that is listening to this, you have God-given gifts, talents, and abilities that you haven't even tapped into. Believe that you can. Who do you think gives you the vision for something to do anyway? That's from God. So follow through, take action, believe him at his word. He wants to bless you. Everybody is born with something, everybody, multiple things that you don't even tap into, but you have to be able to step out on faith, faith, the substance of things hopes for the evidence of things not yet seen to God be the glory to take a step and do it today. Get past your fears, forget worry about what everybody else think and just do it because God is wanting to bless you tremendously. This candle company and the fact that you're listening to this video, you, the awesome person that listened to this video, is proof right there. And no, some of my videos don't get a lot of views, but guess who the most important person is that's listening to this video? You guessed it, you. Now go out there and do great and wonderful things. God is wanting to bless you. You don't wanna be like Moses. He wasn't able to enter the promised land because of his disbelief, but his ancestors did, no, no, no. You don't want to be like Moses. Take God at his word and take a step of faith and do what you were designed to do. Do what he's calling you to do. I know he's tapping on your heart. That's why you listen to this video. This is not by accident. There is no such thing as an accident. There is no such thing as a coincidence. You know, a profound book, it's actually a series of books that I guarantee you will blow your mind. The book, they're titled, When God Winks at You. How God uses the power of, if you can picture me, air quotes, coincidence, when he talks to you and gives you a word, there's no such thing as a coincidence. That book will bring you to your knees. It will make you cry. Every single story in the book is true. How God uses the power of coincidence to send you a message. He hears your prayers. Oh, trust me, he does. Take care. And if you got to the end of this video, you ain't here by accident. Look at these bar pens, I'm telling you. These ones, but anyway, look at this. Look, I got bling. I got drip. Take care of yourself.